Hi, and welcome back to another uh, weekly recap of all the things I got in this week. Uh, I'm going to show you some TTMs, some uh, uh, some uh, signed cards, signed uh, three by fives, uh, and then I, like I told you last week, I was going to a swap meet and I got some items there as well. Yeah, a couple of photos, and I'll show you that as well. So anyway, let's get into it, and let's start uh, with the cards, with the baseball cards, uh, and a couple of football cards actually. First up is pitcher Jerry Augustine of the Milwaukee Brewers signed this 81 tops card next up this one's kinda hard to see this is a uh, an 89 tops card uh, pitcher is Don Hinkle of the Detroit Tigers signed very very lightly on the bottom I'm not sure why he did that it's made on the white border down on the bottom, he even put a Bible, a Bible inscription down there on the bottom. So he signed that. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but it is there. Uh, next up is another pitcher. This is pitcher Phil Huffman of the Toronto Blue Jays on an 81 tops card. There's that. Then next up from there is, is uh, I got a couple of things from this next guy. This is uh, Oakland A pitcher Bob Lacey on 81 tops card. This is what I sent him. Then he also threw in an additional card. Put my glasses on for a second. This is a 1978 tops card. He signed that as well. And then he also signed a signed the bottom of my letter as well. He signed the bottom of my letter as well. So three things from him. So I appreciated that. A couple more cards to show. This is an 81 tops card. Uh, Oakland A's first baseman Dave Revering signed this 81 tops card. There that is. And then two football cards came in. The first one is Mike Dumas, a defensive back for the uh, for the Houston Oilers, uh, and this is a uh, this is a rookie card from, I believe, I think this is uh, 1991 uh, Fleer, 91 Fleer, so I'll hold that up. He kind of smudged it when he signed. It's, I think he ran his fingers over it, so it kind of smudged, but that wasn't me. That was him. Then the other one I got was a really nice one. I got it just yesterday, uh, and uh, this one is... Uh, uh, Chicago Bears quarterback Jim McMahon signed this card. Not even sure what year it is. Uh, looks like an 80, 89, an 89, uh, let's see. I'm not sure. It's an NFL card. Oh, it's a pro set card. Not, okay, so 89 pro set card signed by Jim McMahon. So there's that. So those are all the cards I got in this week. Now let's go to the 3x5 cards. Uh, first up, this is smaller than a 3x5 card. This is a cut signature of Baseball Hall of Famer, uh, the late Gary Carter. And I bought this for uh, to go in that Hall of Fame book that I showed you uh, several videos ago. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to have it, uh, uh, I'm going to glue stick it down into that book so I've got another Hall of Famer to it then let's see next up that goes with that let's see next up uh, this one comes courtesy this is a uh, well let me show you through my five cards finish up through my five cards next up is uh, this is a football Hall of Fame three by five card signed by 
uh, Pittsburgh Steelers defensive coordinator Dick LeBeau, who's in the Football Hall of Fame, and he signed that. Next up, uh, like I mentioned, I went to a swap meet uh, last uh, Sunday close to where I lived, and I bought uh, several 3x5 uh, cards, and this is one of them. This is uh, the late uh, Hawaiian U.S. Senator Daniel Inouye signed this card, and he just died uh, in the last, uh, within the last year. Tomorrow is uh, the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor, and Daniel Inouye was actually uh, at, I believe, at Pearl Harbor, uh, and uh, uh, I believe he lost an arm during uh, during World War II, uh, serving for the United States against Japan, and he has Japanese uh, family. So anyway, I, I saw that, and uh, and I uh, I really wanted to pick it up because he was a uh, he was a good senator and a real uh, war hero for this country. Okay, uh, let's see. Next up, I bought this because I was um, I was. Uh, I, 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 I have to admit, I watch his show, even though it's sometimes hard to admit. Uh, this is Donald Trump, and here's that. I do watch Celebrity Apprentice, I must confess, and there it is. And also at the swap meet, I also bought, I also bought this card. I saw this, and I thought it was really neat. This is... Um, another military man, famous uh, George Marshall. He was a Secretary of Defense, I believe, uh, during World War II, and he was the man that created the Marshall Plan that helped stabilize Europe after World War II. And so he signed this card. Uh, this this card. He's been dead since about 19. I believe I read it was 1959. So this card is about 50, about 54 years old at the very uh, least, and maybe a lot, a lot older. Okay, so there's that. It's actually a cover. Uh, yeah, it's October. Yeah, the, see, it's a. You can see on the other side, it's got an address and a date on it, and it says uh, uh, from uh, Virginia. On October 12th but it doesn't say the year so I don't know what year it was but anyway I really thought that was an historic autograph so I thought I'd pick that up now the last a 3x5 card I have to show this one is still a mystery I do not know who signed this uh, I've gone back and tried to figure out I, I tried to, I, I, I don't like to write for some reason I, I don't like to write on the card who it is before I send it out or who it's for so if I get it back and I can't read the signature, that's maybe be a hang-up of mine. I just I usually don't do that. I just stick it in there and hope I'm going to be able to identify it when it comes back. So anyway, this person wrote down to John with my best, signed it, and then put the date. He signed it on November 30th. That's just a, uh, about a week ago. And so I'm going to hold it up. If anybody's got any ideas of who it is, uh, if you got any ideas for me, please let me know. I would love to try to find out who it is. So anyway... If you have a guess, here it is. I'll hold it there for a minute or two, or for a few, about 15 seconds. So if you recognize that, if you got an idea of who it might be, please uh, PM me, let me know who you think it might be. Okay? So there it is. I hope someone helps me out on that one. Okay, I have some couple photos to show you. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, win a giveaway on Stacy Schaefer and um, uh, and Jeremy Daniels uh, podcast show Autograph Nation. By the way, uh, Stacy Schaefer was a big help in me getting the Jim McMahon autograph because he gave me the address to try to find uh, McMahon, and uh, it worked. So I want to thank Stacy for that, and I also want to thank him and Jeremy for this this card signed by or this photo. 4x6 photo signed by Tom Kane. And Tom Kane was the voice of Yoda in Star Wars. So there's that.
So that was a promotion that they ran on their show that I happened to win. So there you go. Next up, uh, also at, also through the mail, I got this one as well. This is from, uh, from director Tim Burton, signed this photo. Now I have a question for you people watching this as well on this one. Uh, there's the signature there. Um, and he also included this question and answer sheet and uh, about himself and what he's up to. And the first question was about whether he would sign autographs. And he basically in this, in this paper says that due to his schedule, he has trouble answering autograph requests. But yet that photo I just showed you has an autograph on it. If someone else has gotten that particular photo from uh, Burton uh, and can tell me whether it's a genuine signature or it's a stamp or an auto pen or whatever it might be, please feel free, feel free to PM me on that as well. But uh, it feels real. You can actually feel, the, feel whatever it is on it. Uh, so it could be the pen or it could be a stamp. I'm not really sure. So anyway, that was Tim Burton. I'm happy to get it regardless. And then a couple more things to show, uh, a couple more things I got at the swap meet. Uh, the next one is an 8x10 signed by New York Nick, I believe it's a Hall of Famer, and a former U.S. Senator, Bill Bradley. You can sign it on the bottom there. There you go. Then the last one I'll show you has kind of a personal interest to me. I bought this at the swap meet as well. Um, and uh, my father's father, my grandfather, uh, was a boxing publicist back in the 19 uh, teens and 20s and on into the, I think he retired somewhere in the late 40s or 1950s. Um, and uh, he knew a lot of uh, great former uh, heavyweight uh, or you know, fighters of all weight classes. And um, I saw this autograph and uh, I'll show it to you. It's signed here on the front in red by... Jack Dempsey, who my grandfather happened to know when Dempsey was fighting back in the 1920s. So there's that on the front. And it also had a bonus autograph on the back. On the back is a picture of another heavyweight champion, Max Bear. And he signed it as well, small there under the picture. You can see that. And in that, he's, it shows pictures of him being knocked out by a, a fighter named uh, Primo Canera when Max Bear lost the heavyweight championship to Canera. And he inscribed on this, on this autograph, he put down one of my worst, uh, uh, one of my worst, this was my worst night, oh me. And then he put Max Bear. And Max Bear was, besides being a heavyweight champion, he was also the father of Max Spare Jr., who wound up playing Jethro on the Beverly Hillbillies. That's an interesting, uh, odd fact. So there's that. Anyway, that's it for uh, today. I hope you enjoyed uh, all I, I got in this week. Uh, feel free to PM me on that mystery 3x5 or anything you have on that Tim Burton uh, 4x6 uh, or 5x7. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about that. Uh, let's see. And I did... I haven't gotten my mail yet today. This is uh, uh, Friday the 6th. I, my mail has not come, and it's after 6 o'clock, so I'll have to hold uh, today's mail off until next week. So anyway, thank you for uh, watching, and I look forward to talking to you next week.